Have you seen the new V-Series XXL wrenches from Craftsman? Well, we've got them in the shop. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. If you watched any of our coverage from the SEMA show of this year, 2021, then you may have already seen us talk about these wrenches from Craftsman. We stopped by the booth, took a look at them, and really kind of thought we liked them and we got them in the shop. So we're going to actually dig in, let you know what we think about these kits. We've got the, both the SAE in black and the metric in red. Is that right? Yeah, metric in red and SAE in black. Seven piece kits on both of these. So let's dive in, take a closer look at these iBeam XXL wrenches. Then we'll come back and talk about pricing, warranty, and what we think of them. These are the brand new Craftsman V-Series wrenches. Now, if you watched any of our footage from the SEMA show recently in 2021, please excuse our mic issues. We're going to do a little narrating over the top to make sure we can get this right. Uh, then you've probably seen these, maybe a, a quick glimpse of them. Uh, if not, anyway, these are the brand new V-Series ratcheting double box end wrenches from Craftsman. The V-Series is really aimed at the professional as well as that true gearhead that wants a really high quality tool. Um, so their V-Series, we're seeing some ratchets, we're seeing some sockets, uh, some T-handle uh, uh, like uh, hex tools, Torx tools, things like that, as well as like these double XL wrenches. So you can see just by looking at these, these are very long. So these are their XXL. Now model number on these is the CMMT uh, 87400V is the SAE and then the metric is the CMMT 87410V which is their uh, metric set hopefully I said that right SAE in the black metric in the red uh, both of them seven piece designs I really like the cases typically I don't care for the cases that they come in so you can open that up probably cut that off and it absolutely be fine not too tight but they're not going to fall out whatsoever and get rid of uh, this thing here and not have to worry about that anymore and still retain our wrenches whether we want to hang that on a pegboard or whether we want to put it in our toolbox drawer it's going to hold on to those wrenches but you can also easily pull those out and put them back in but it does hold them very firmly now we'll talk about what we get in this kit in a moment because i think that's kind of the biggest issue that i've seen so far We've got a true I-beam design, so we have a large recessed area here, and it's a pretty aggressive recession, meaning it's not, you know, it doesn't bevel out really, you know, a long ways or anything. We've got this recessed trough in here, and we have what looks like a, a true steel I-beam in this wrench. So we've got nice broad sides, but it's not too aggressive that it actually bites in your hand or hurts your hand, um, but it feels really nice in the hand. and got good weight to it as well because of how big it is so we have a double box in design we have a wrapping end which is a 72 tooth design uh, we don't have any directional lever so we're just going to flip that over uh, full flex head full 180 degrees you may even get beyond 180 degrees here so probably a little bit more but you definitely get a full 180 we get a 72 tooth design so that's basically a five degree swing arc so just a small movement to actually engage the uh, clicks again so that's how far i've got to move it to get a click from here to there a six point design so we don't get a uh, a 12 point design on the other side we get a six point uh, which is going to give us some more leverage ability to really crank down on a bolt or crank down on a fastener um, really clean look that I don't see any type of milling in the corners or relief in the corners that are, that are going to aid in biting on those flats. May not be an issue, but just wanted to point that out. We also get a truly flat design here. So there's no curving or angling into the end here. It's just a truly straight plane to this boxed end here. So you're not going to get any type of angle relief other than you do get a little bit of stick out, stick out here. Um, so that if, if we are on a flat surface, we can still get down on that bolt and have a little bit of relief as far as uh, clearance, if you will. Very nice looking wrench. This is the 19 on the seven piece uh, metric side. So let's talk about what we get here. Um, and before we do that, let me just go ahead and I'll grab the biggest wrench here on the 
the east side and that's going to be the 11 16 which again i'll have something to say about that here in a moment as well uh truly the same look and feel as the metric obviously uh on the 19 we'll just compare the 19 and the 7 16 the 19 is going to be a little bit longer than that 11 16 and by the way if i said 7 16 earlier uh, please forgive me on that but yeah the 19 is going to be a little bit longer let's put the 11 16 back in and the 19 back in and let's first talk about the sae kit and what we get in the seven piece kit we start with the 5 16 and we get a nice long wrench here. Again, it's the XXL. So we get a six point design on one end and the ratcheting end on the other. The nice thing about the 5 16 is that's going to cross over for our 8 millimeter as well, which is going to aid in the metric kit that starts at 10 millimeter. Okay, so next up we get a 3 8 wrench. So no skip there. And then we go to a 7 16 and then next up is the half inch, which we know we got to have a half inch. Let's flip them up the same way. And then we go to a 9 16 And you see they're all kind of tapering the same uh, length. Go to a 5 8 And then to an 11 16 so again, looking at the lengths of these, they're nice tapered uh, increase in length as they go up but no skips in the SAE kit. So 5 16 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 5 8 and 11 16 Now let's get an idea here of the size of these wrenches, because uh, sometimes the camera just doesn't show that. So we're looking at the thickness of the wrench, or the depth, if you will, of a little over a quarter inch, so 0.279, and then uh, width across the beam is gonna be 0.7, so almost three quarters of an inch. So you get a nice wide, nice thick beam. And then as far as the length goes, we're looking at like 14 and three quarter inches, a little over 14 and a half, so yeah, it's right at 14 and three quarters of an inch for that 11 16 inch wrench. So these are long wrenches for sure, but obviously the XXL design. So more than a foot on the large wrench with no skip sizes. Now let's take a look at the seven piece metric set and what we get in this. So first up is a 10 millimeter, which is great. It's a great starting point. These are XXL wrenches. We know we're not gonna start real small. At the same time, the 5 16 and the SAE is gonna let us start at that eight millimeter, which is the same as 5 16 So we're good with starting at 10 millimeters. And then next up, we get the 11 millimeter. And then the 12. So we're going 10, 11, 12. We're good so far. And now we're going to get a 13. We know we got to have a 13 or heads are going to roll. Uh, then we're going to get to the 14. So we've got 13, 14. And then we jump. We take a big jump here and we go to a 17 millimeters. So we go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and then jump to 17. And you even see the length difference in this. A big jump. You don't have that steady ramp up, you've got a big jump. So it looks like they probably already made a 15. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, and now we get a 19. So we've skipped an 18 as well. Now looking at this, it looks like there may not be a, a wrench in between those. So maybe they don't make an 18, but they've definitely jumped over the 15, the 16, and the 18. And not sure if they're even planning on making that 18, again, from the size uh, look of things. All right, move these aside. Here's three bolts here. Let's take this one out. These two bolts, literally yesterday, were taken out of the same vehicle. Again, I probably don't even have to tell you this, but both of them off the front end of a Chevy truck. And I'm not talking about just some weird Chevy truck. 99, 1999 to current, all over the front end, uh, suspension components, um, oil pan bolt, uh, you name it, there's 15s and 18s in several places on that vehicle. So I'll show you here. So this bolt here, and we'll look. Obviously 17 too, too big, 14 is too small. And so let's go to 11 16 that's too big. 5 8 is still too big. So it's not like I can go to my SAE 
uh, derivative because there is no derivative when it comes to the 15. The 15 is all by itself. You're not gonna find an SAE that works with that. So why in the world on something like, you know, Ford Dodge Chevy, if you're gonna miss that boat on the, on the, uh, on the wrench kit, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not sure of why he would do that. So 15's definitely a problem. Again, oil pan bolts on many, many SUVs, trucks, cars in, in the GM line, and I'm sure many others as well. Then we have this one here. Oh, is that a 17? No, that's not a 17. Is it a 19? No, it's not a 19. Again, all over the front ends and suspension components of GM full-size trucks, SUVs, uh, maybe even some cars. And I believe on, on European as well. Um, and there is no derivative because I don't even have a three-quarter. So I stop at 11 16. So so quality-wise, I love these things. They're great-looking wrenches. 72-tooth uh, design, that's going to give us some good bite, I think, without stripping them. Um, I love the flex head. You get a full flex out of it. It feels nice and firm. I love the feel of the tool. Uh, on the other boxed-in, would I have rather seen a 12-point? I don't know. I mean, I like to have six-point um, boxed-ins as well but it gives you less of movement, if you will. I do like the low profile around the edges here, as long as it's strong enough to hold up, but I just don't understand why you would skip a 15. I think that's really gonna hurt this kit. Let me tell you what I think should have happened. I think you add the 15 and you go up to an eight piece kit. And here's why I say that. These things sell for $170 for a seven piece kit. $170, uh, lifetime warranty on these, and their XXL wrenches with uh, flex head ratcheting wrenches on one end. So I get it. It's a, it's a little uptick in price than your typical box store or cra typical craftsman brand or, or your, uh, your more valuable brands, if you will. This is an uptick in price. I get that. Uh, I don't have a problem with stepping up in that price if I'm getting the kit that I want or that actually makes sense, because I think the quality is there. It's a really good looking wrench. However, with skipping that size and $170 at a seven piece, so here's what I'm saying. Add in the 15 millimeter and it becomes an eight piece kit. Let's just call it 30 bucks and you're still under, let's say you sell it for 199, you're under that you know, magic $200 range, but yet you get an eight piece kit and you add in a three quarter on the SAE. That's my thoughts. Add in a three quarter because three quarter is gonna get used a ton as well. And then you get a full set from five sixteenths all the way up to three quarter. And then you get your set from 10 millimeter up to, uh, up to 19 with the only skip being an 18. I would also like to see that 18 included, but I think you've got to get that 15 in there. That's just my two cents, if you will. But let's use them on a few things and uh, see what we think. All right, so we have our torque meter set up so that we can actually read the torque, which as you can see, we have a hex on the end of this extension uh, so that we can take, in this case, the 5 8 inch double boxed in V-series wrench, and we'll start with the ratcheting end. I'm gonna see if I can hit 100 foot-pounds on this wrench. So I hope 99.6 is good enough. It was definitely eating into my hand there. Uh, but anyway, so we're hitting 100 foot pounds on the ratcheting end with no problem whatsoever. That's more than that bolt's gonna take anyway. Even on a grade eight with a 5 8 head, I believe that's gonna be below 100 foot pounds. So we're definitely able to put as much force as we need to or should on a particular fastener. Now I get it sometimes we need that extra leverage, but again, I, I'm not gonna push beyond what my hand can do, and I'm not gonna put a, a breaker bar right now. So the ratchet in, the 72 tooth design, no problem whatsoever, holding up to that 99.6 foot pounds. Now let's go to the box in to the six point design, and let's make sure that it will hold up to the force as well. Because we do have a narrow profile uh, around the rim of that six-point design, we got some thickness there, or some some beef uh, in the depth of the of the six-point. But around the rim, not a lot of meat there. So let's see if this is going to hold up. So put some force on here and see if we can't bring this to a hundred foot-pounds as well. Mm. 
there we have it. So 103.1 foot-pounds on the six-point end of the wrench. So no problem with the XXL holding up to the force that you're going to apply to it. Now, if you're putting a breaker bar on the end of it, that may change things. I don't think you're going to be surprised at our wrap up here. In other words, our overall thoughts are these wrenches are really nice quality. I love the I-beam design. I didn't think I would. Like I mentioned, if you were to explain this to me on paper or just talking to me, I'd say, I don't know if I'm going to like that wrench. Even looking at it, I thought, man, it looks good, but I don't think I'm going to like holding it, using it. But I'm wrong, or I would be wrong. Uh, I like the wrench. It's a good looking wrench. It's a good usable wrench. Uh, I may like to see a 12 point design, but again, we can take wrenches and make combo wrenches, you know, 10 ways to Sunday and more. But anyway, the problem here is the kits that come in. They come in seven piece kits and it's just too big of a skip to go from a 14 to a 17 to a 19. We really need to see that 15 millimeter and need to see that 18 millimeter as well. Now here's my thoughts on it. I think we could do away with the 18 or live with not having the 18, but I think you got to have the 15 in there. So, so my thoughts on this are add the 15 to the metric and that gives us an eight piece kit. Then add a three quarter inch to the SAE because I think the SAE needs a three quarter inch as well. Give it a more rounded approach or a broader use, if you will, of wrenches. That would be eight piece kit and still should fall into that $200 range or below the $200 range. Cause as it is, these are 170 bucks for a seven piece kit. So 170 for the SAE, 170 for the metric, and they're going to include a lifetime warranty. But again, we got skip sizes in the metric, no skips in the SAE. However, it ends at 11 sixteenths and not three quarter. That's our thoughts on this. We really think craftsmen should add a wrench to each one of these kits. And I think we would be able to live without that 18. I'd like to see the 18 too, but again, we just have to have the 15 and we could probably live without the 18. Hey, would you let us know what you think in the comments? Please do. Please let me know. Hey, am I just nuts for even worrying about the 15 and 18 skip? Or do you want to see both these in the kit and maybe what your thoughts would be on what craftsmen should do? Otherwise, this is a great quality wrench and we love to see it made in Taiwan, but great quality, 72 tooth design. I may like to see a 90 tooth, but again, I'm not stuck on that whatsoever. Hey, be sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, would you hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, then click that dislike button or that thumbs down button. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.